here with Overdrive. Now, if you were at the Auto Expo, have been following our coverage of the Expo, then you know that Volkswagen showcased the Volkswagen Polo and the Polo Cup race car. But this company is not just a one-trick pony. It's got another race up its sleeve in the form of the Phaeton. Priced at 75 lakh rupees, Sirius traveled all the way to Germany to bring you a first drive report from Dresden. Volkswagen, loosely translated from German, it means people's car, a car for the people. After all, that's what Hitler envisaged when he ordered Ferdinand Porsche to design and build the very first Volkswagen, the car that we all know and remember as the Beetle. But who would have thought that 60 years later, the same brand, the same badge, the Volkswagen badge, could adorn a car that could cost upwards of 1 crore rupees? People's car? Well, the Phaeton definitely isn't a people's car. But to find out more about this car, we've come to the fabulous glass factory in Dresden to see how this car is built and then we'll go for a drive. Ambitious is probably too mild a word to describe Volkswagen's far-reaching aspirations. Not content with making some of the best small cars and sedans, VW reached for the stars in 2003 when they launched the super luxury Phaeton. The most expensive Volkswagen ever. And this being Volkswagen, they had to do things in style which is why they built a breathtaking factory just for the Phaeton right in the heart of Dresden, an 800-year-old German city known for arts and craftsmanship. This, this is where the Phaeton is built. It's calm, it's collected, it looks nice, it looks like a studio. Look at the floor, it's Canadian maple wood. It's a fantastic looking thing. It's not like a car manufacturing unit. It's more like a studio where people put the car together by hand. Usually a Phaeton is assembled by just one person working at each station, in total silence. And the production rate is a fairly leisurely 40 cars a day in two shifts. Each station is allotted a fixed time, but if a worker wants more time to ensure top quality, well, he is given the extra time. This is the most important stage in the manufacturing. It's called the wedding and it's where the engine, suspension and transmission are mated to the body shell. Because this is a studio and not a normal car manufacturing facility, everything comes pre-assembled. That means the body shells are painted and then it comes to the plant. This is also pre-assembled and this goes onto the body shell. After assembly, the Phaetons go for pre-delivery inspection and then the cars that are built for customers who plan to pick up their car at the factory are placed in the glass storage tower while overseas cars go to a different area to be wrapped in protective packaging. So that's how the Phaeton is built in what is one of the most amazing car factories in the world. But enough of all this, let's get down to the driving. Now with Mercedes, BMW and even Audi well entrenched in the luxury car market, Volkswagen had to do something different with the Phaeton. And the headline feature is obviously the fact that this is hand-built in that fantastic factory in Dresden. But there's another problem. Audi, today they do aggression and sportiness extremely well. So obviously Volkswagen couldn't do a sporty luxury car. They couldn't tread on Audi's toes. And that's why they've moved towards the elegant side of the business. They focus on ride quality. Volkswagen say, this is the luxury car for you if you like to be chauffeur driven or if you like to drive fast but go comfortably. If you love driving, Germany is the place to be. These autobahns, they truly are fantastic. Fast, well surfaced and where there are no speed restrictions, oh, great fun to drive. But even where there are limits, the limit is 120-130 km an hour, which is not slow by any means. And like all German cars, the Phaeton 2 does fast highway touring extremely well. It feels safe, it feels secure and the ride quality is really very good. But unlike its rivals, it doesn't feel as sporty. The suspension is soft and it feels a bit floppy. The steering doesn't have much response. In terms of driver involvement, an Audi A8 or better still, a BMW 7 Series does a far better job. 
There is no getting away from the fact that the Phaeton is 7 years old now, with a new one under development. There is also serious competition from the likes of Audi, BMW, Mercedes and even Jaguar now. But none of these manufacturers offer you something different, something hand-built in a truly extraordinary factory. And therein lies the main appeal of the Phaeton. Sadly, that brings us to the end of this week's episode of Overdrive. But do remember to log on to our YouTube channel and visit our website as well. We'll catch you again next week with another action-packed show. But till then, from the team, goodbye and thanks for watching.